and welcome back to Benjamite Gaming, where it's my goal to bring you fun and fantastic Dofus PVM content. We have another Taylor leveling guide here for you, and the nice thing is, is now and moving forward, we are including both an Echo and an Elysale crafting list. If you're new here and you want to make sure you don't miss out on any of my future profession making guides, among the many other things I do on my channel, make sure you remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know exactly when my videos go live. I think it's important to point out here that cheap is no longer going to happen. We're at level 100 and moving up now, so now it's all about trying to find the cheapest crafts to get you the best XP to climb that ladder. Through a great deal of number crunchings and tables and formulas and a bunch of math, I've come up with a way to drop your potential comma costs of three to four million commas down to less than a million commas on both servers. And if you check out my comma saving tips towards the end of this video, I could even knock that down even further for you. All right, in this guide, I'm gonna show you how to take your tailor from level 100 up to level 120. Let's do this. All right. Here are the checklist of everything you need to buy to go through the crafting list I've put together. The Echo Supplies are in green, the Illy's Ale are over here in blue. Feel free to pause this video while you do your shopping. Okay, now let's do the Echo crafting list. If you're on Illy's Ale, jump to this location in the video to start on your crafting list. All right, Echo, let's do this. Echo, your crafting list is fairly short on this one, and we're gonna start out by crafting three Boo Woldem cloaks which will get you to level 102. We're gonna craft one black rat mask to get to 103. We're gonna craft two dragon pig cloaks, which should get you to 105. Craft three black rat capes to get you to 108. And then with an insanely low crafting cost of about 17,000 commas, we're gonna craft 24 pile of shats which will jump you all the way up to level 120. All right, Elysale, we're gonna start out by crafting three Bewoldlum cloaks to get you to level 102. Then we're gonna craft three black rat masks to get you to 105. We're gonna craft three hurtful locker helmets to get you to 108. We're going to craft 13 pile of shats to get to level 116. We will craft one ancestral trek helmet to get to 117. Then craft two waritz hats to get to 119. And then craft one more ancestral trek helmet to get to 120. If you found a really good price on supplies for another waritz hat, that would work too. Echo, your total costs are gonna run you just under 800,000 commas for everything that you need. However, if you have a solid team around the 120s, head over here to Howling Heights, where you have the potential to drop five of the resources you need from your list. This will not only get you some really nice XP, but could knock up to 60,000 commas off your shopping costs. 90,000 commas are coming from three gleaming petals. You PVPers, if you've got 300 Colossokens, you can buy those and save yourself 90 grand right out of the gate. Lower level players should consider hunting down those Milibu wolf hares and the rat fangs yourself. Both are around the Astro area, have almost a 50% drop rate, are fairly easy mobs, and could save you potentially 120,000 commas from your total costs. Bonus tip for you, if you've leveled your hunter, slap a hunting weapon on and drop those meats in those areas. They also have high drop rates and they sell really fast to make some extra commas. All right, you also have 24 Panda K's Ghost Fabrics, which total about 90,000 commas on your shopping list. If you can get an idle score of over 200, you can bump up that drop rate to close to 10%. It's not fantastic, but it could save you a lot of money. Again, slap a hunting weapon on, and with that same idle score, you could get the meats over there dropping at over 70% drop rate. And those puppies sell for almost a thousand commas a piece. 
And my final and probably biggest comma saving suggestion for you, you could knock off close to 200,000 commas from your shopping list if you hunt down the Woo Wabbit hairs yourself. These things have a base drop rate of almost 20%. With idols, you could bump that up even higher. Another great thing about these is they also drop the cowits. Those sell for almost 1,500 commas a piece. Even if you dropped only half of the hairs that you need from your shopping list, you could probably then list and sell the cowits to cover the cost of the other half. All right, Illy players, your costs are gonna be just shy of that 1 million comma mark. And I know running solo makes dropping those rare resources even more difficult for you. However, if you can get a group of guildies or a group of people together to go run for some drops, I got some ideas for you. You've got two Kitso type hairs that you need to drop, which total for about 130,000 on your shopping list. If you got a solid group and you can get an idle score of over 200, you can bump that drop rate up to about 6%. I know that's not great, but that's still going to save you a lot of money if you and your team can go gather those resources. Again, if you have your hunter profession leveled and you can put a hunting weapon on while you go do that, you could drop some blood soaked meats, which will also sell very nicely for some extra commas. Something a lot easier to drop, you need 14 Lepardo hairs. These have almost a 50% drop rate. Get yourself a good team around those level 150s and you could go get yourself some really good XP and possibly save around $60,000 on your shopping list. The Panda Casey Ghost Fabrics. For you guys, it's going to account for about 125,000 commas on your shopping list, and they have a low drop rate. If you can get a solid team together, get a high idle score, you can bump that up. You could save yourself a lot of money, but it's going to take you some work. Again, I'm going to bring up the Wool Wabbit Hairs for you guys as well. It'll only knock about 40,000 off, but it's a much easier mob to go fight if you're running with a smaller or a lower leveled group. And you get the benefit still of the Cowits, which you can then sell to make extra commas on top of that and my final tip there for illy you pvpers if you've got 700 kalo sokens you can knock over 200,000 commas off of your cost by buying those seven gleaming petals yourself well that's it i know the numbers aren't as friendly as the other guides because we're getting up into those higher levels but hopefully i found you some really cheap ways to get there if you could do me one super fast quick favor and just smack that like button it really helps the channel out helps you to promote my channel let people know that i'm here also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new and you don't want to miss out on any of my future content you all be safe out there and i'll see you on the next one <laughs>